One of the scripts you wrote was, of course, the legendary Ghostbusters. Yeah. You wanted that movie to be called Ghost something. Blasters? Uh, blasters. blasters. Ghost Blasters! It was always supposed to be called Ghostbusters, but we couldn't get the title. Uh, Taft Broadcasting owned it. There was oh. a show with Larry Storch, remember? From oh. Yes. <laughs> and Forrest, uh, Forrest Tucker, they, they had this show called Ghostbusters, and, oh. um, and I didn't know about it when I wrote it. When you write Ghostbusters or Coneheads, is that because of your fascination with extraterrestrials? Well, the Ghostbusters was my family uh, started in that research. My great-grandfather, Sam, was a dentist, and, and he was like kind of the local reviewer in town of, of psychic acts that would come through town. <laughs> yeah. Now, back then you had, you know, levitators, you had mind readers, you had pre precipitated painters. They would sit there uh, across from a canvas and create an oil painting with their fingers with no paint. Uh -huh. And they used to have seances in the old farmhouse. And that was just growing up, whereas, you know, at the old summer cottage, there'd be, most places would have National Geographic lying around. The old magazines. Uh, I would have uh, the American Society for Psychical Research Journal sitting. Is there. that why you love playing Beldar of the Conehead so much? You've said that you relate to him the most. Is that because I do feel a little alien sometimes? Because yeah. you feel like you should be from another planet. I do. Yeah, I have some genetic anomalies. You know, I have webbed toes, and I've got a heterochromia, two different colored eyes, and a do you something in my spine there? Uh, there's two bones that are not. You have a tail. Uh, <laughs> shaved, I think. Yeah. Did it's you ever get good. that corrected? Your webbed toes? Did you? No. Oh, I never did. My mother looked at it when I was born. She said, should we slit them? Should we slit them? And the, and, and the, and the doctor said, no, it'll be fine. The thing is, when I, I've broken one of them, and I, I went in, and the guy said, well, I'm not even going to put a splint on there. You've got a splint already. So, right. Yeah. So, so, so I maybe have, I may have, have some superior, alien. You you know? Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> Robin, you will be spared when my species overtakes your miserable planet. Was Eddie Murphy supposed to be in the original Ghostbusters? Yeah. He was? Yeah, he was. And what happened? Oh, he went to do uh, Beverly Hills Cop, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you wrote it for Belushi. I did. I was, in fact, when the keyboard uh, lit up at the office like, like a Kino board, uh, uh, t telling me that, you know, he was gone. I was writing a line for him. Mm. Uh, so sad. And, yeah. and, and the Ghostbusters movie, of course, you ended up casting Bill Murray in it. But as you're writing John Belushi a line, you get the horrible news that John is gone. Yeah. Which is devastating. Then I had to go and tell Judy. I, I had to get to her before it, it was public. His wife. Yeah, so I ran from our office on 155th Avenue down to her place on Morton Street, and, and then I, I was passing a newsstand, and they, they dropped the truck, the, the, bundle, the bundle off in there. Belushi dead at 33, so I just beat her. I beat it to her place before the headlines, and I, you know, I had to tell her.